Woo! <laughs> it got it. So freedom of speech is a Here's... wonderful thing, is it not? Yeah. Beautiful. Always, there are a lot of things that happen that you don't know what you've got till it's gone. Yeah. And I've been cruising through some of our local media um, Facebook pages and websites, and they talk a lot about freedom of speech. Go they talk a lot about we'll community. They talk a lot about integrity. They talk a lot about correcting errors in a timely manner. They talk a lot about not having a situation or environment that might be hostile. And I challenge them to rise to their own mandates. I challenge them to rise to their own mission statements. I challenge them to report truthfully and talk to people here about what their experience might happen to be with this lockdown. I'm a small business person. I'm just like people like what? Alexandra who are told we're not essential. And I think we all know as humans uh, who are alive and vibrant that, and sovereign beings that we're all essential. Are we not all essential? Yeah. yeah? Is everything you make in your job or your business not something that's vital to keeping you alive? Food on your table? Pay your bills? My business has been shut down everywhere I turn. They shut it down with it shutting down non-essential businesses or snow machine trails. So how am I supposed to pay my, my property taxes? Those bills are still coming in. They're not hearing my excuses. I don't have money. How do you make a stone bleed? So Dirty Girls Farm. And, <laughs> and, I'm, uh, and do, you, do, you think I'm not, do you think I'm not threatened for speaking up? Do you think I'm not uh, insulted for, spe for speaking up? I've got threats. I've got things I've had to do to make my web page and my Facebook more safe because I've had people attacking me. I know what many of us who are speaking up are being attacked. So where is the freedom of speech of being able to give our opinion? Where is it? Where is the freedom of speech of maybe challenging the agenda around what, what vaccines are or what even qualifies as being a vaccine? Where is our freedom of speech about talking about coming out together in a group? like this, fresh air without masks on, breathing, enjoying breath. We're being insulted for, 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 for advocating breath. Like, think about that. Yes, we all like breathing, don't we? This is our exhaust pipe right here. So now we're seeing all kinds of incidences of people showing up with bacterial infections of the lungs and uh, mask mouth, they call it, and mask me with mask acne all over their faces. So. Tell your friends it's okay to live your life. You know, the CDC is, is not the big health protector of the people that most people think it is. It's a private corporation, and it trades on the, on the exchange. They're, they're actually um, a pharmacy company. A lot of the drugs that they trade around the world, they own patents on. So do you not think that's a huge conflict of interest? Bill Gates funded. Then they're all funded by, yeah, what doesn't Bill Gates fund? <laughs> Speaking of Bill Gates, wh so why are we still in lockdown? Can we do a quick little snapshot? How about that? Who remembers the name Neil Ferguson from the yep. Imperial College, right, in London? He's the guy who, without any kind of oversight, no, no global sit-down table of... Uh, of scientists or PhDs collaborated before he, funded by Bill Gates and the Bill and Melinda Fund, uh, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, and the World Health Organization and the CDC, he wrote the code that shut down the world. It wasn't even reviewed. No oversight whatsoever. 